Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this uh, new video. So in our previous videos, so we had discussed with module 1, 2 and 3 some of the important topics related to the subject uh, research methodology and intellectual property rights RM and IPR. The subject code is BRMK557 which is common for all the streams. So this is of 21 schemes. So that's why the subject code is changed here. But you can refer these notes. Okay, this is a standard one. Okay. And try to understand these concepts and uh, uh, write in the examination purpose. Okay. So, so the module 4 consists of copyrights and related rights and trademarks. Okay. Copyrights, related rights and trademarks. What and all, what is basically the copyrights and trademarks. They have mentioned it in detail. And how to apply for a copy copyright if you are facing any issues related to that. Then uh, these things are mentioned it here in this PDF in a detailed manner of all the procedures. So go through it. Okay. So this is the complete syllabus here of copyrights and trademarks. One by one we are going to discuss each of them. So yeah, again those who have not watched my previous videos go and watch it. First is copyrights and related rights. Copyrights refer to the legal rights provided by the law to the original creator of the work in the fields of literature and computer software. Okay. The related rights encompass the work in the fields of dramatics, sound recording, film video recordings, paintings, architecture, etc. Copyrights and related rights are one of the categories of IP and governed by the, uh, by the Copyright Act 1957 of India. Okay? This act provides rights of reproduction, communication to the masses, adaptation and translation of the work. Okay? Copyrights. So, what are these copyrights? Copyrights are basically uh, a thing of uh, misbehavior where you would be uh, you you would be getting to know that your work is being copied by others. Okay. So, if you want to report that, how you could do is by applying for a copyright where you would be getting some of the features of the your contents where it is uh, repeated in uh, other works that should be uh, having a proper knowledge about. And then apply for a copyright against that person who, who, who you think that they are copying your content or work. Okay. So, this was basically a copyright. We have some certain classes of copyrights here. First is literature. Okay. Uh, the classes of copyrights include literature where uh, the books uh, under literature, some of the uh, topics such as uh, books, essays, research articles, oral speeches, lectures, compilations, computer programs software, databases, etc. come into the picture. Next we have dramatics. Dramatics, under dramatics we have screenplays, dramas, action uh, action sequences, etc. Then we have uh, sound recordings. A recording of soundless regardless to the medium on which such recording is made. For example, phonogram and uh, CD-ROM. Okay. CD-ROM stands for compact disc read-only memory. Okay. Then we have artistic. Under artistic we have drawing, painting, logo, map, chart, photographs architecture works, uh, craftsmanship, etc. Under musical, we have musical notations, songs, excluding any words or any action intended to be sung, spoken or performed within the music. Then we have cinematography, that is films and all, visual representation, audio, video, this comes under everything, sound recording, uh, TV programming, everything. So these are the basic classes of copyrights, okay, for different, different uh, purposes, for different, different uh, ways of copywriting. Uh, they have mentioned it here. Go through it. The classes of copyrights very important. The criteria for a copyright. To qualify for a copyright protection, a work must exist in some physical or tangible form. The duration of the existence of the existence of the physical form may vary from a very short period to many years. That is, virtuality, any form of expression which can be viewed or listened to as eligible to qualify as a copyright, even hurriedly scribbled notes for an improper speech are considered to as a copyrightable material. Okay. That is criteria. Criteria involves that what and all are the base of uh, copyright execution. That is uh, for any article provided, how you could be making a copyright is by taking some of the key points from that and trying to execute it in your work. Okay. So this is the basic criteria for any kind of copyright for different, different works which is happening in the society. So, like this, they have mentioned mostly the copyright criteria for the different different instances here. You can go through it and check it out. Okay. Next is ownership for a copyright. The copyright laws clearly state the ownership of copyright. The person who created the work is considered as the first original holder owner of the copyright. In case the author is an employee and has been contact contracted to do the work by a proprietor of the 
owner of the comp uh, copyright shall be the proprietor. Okay, the government will be the primary owner of the government uh, work in the absence of any kind of an arrangement. The person delivering a speech is the first owner of the copyright. Okay, yeah. Obtain permission to use copyrighted material. A request of uh, for the same should be made to the legal owner, which could be the original author, the legal hire. In case of death of the author, publisher, etc. In case of the missing of that original influencer, you could be applying for a uh, second opinion or a second person. Okay, yeah. Copyrights of the author. Some of the points they mentioned it here of copyrights of the author. How to how you need to be analyzing that they mentioned it here neatly. Okay, you can note this down. Next, we have copyright infringement as a criminal offense. Okay, this is very important. Copyright infringement as a criminal offense, how should be how it should be executed under section 63? They have mentioned it here how it should be ex executed. According to section 63 of the Copyright Act of 1957, it is mentioned that if any person know, knowingly infringes the copyright, knowingly, that is, some people mostly 70 to 80 percent chances are there that people would be unknowingly infringing the copyright, but some people are there, okay, that who knowingly. Uh, uh, do thus uh, copy from uh, copies the other contents knowing that the other people has published it. So for those people, if any person knowingly infringes the copyright, he qualifies for the criminal offense. Okay, yeah. The punishment awarded for these kind of copyrights are imprisonment for six months with a minimum fine of fifty thousand. Okay. In case of a second and subsequent conviction, the minimum publishment is imprisonment for one year and a fine of one lakh. There is a dedicated IP. Division to deal with copyright cases. Also, there is a copyright board constituted by the central government in 1958 to adjudicate certain claims about the copyright. Okay, so this was all about the copyright infringement is a criminal offense in case of the knowingly if someone uh, does the uh, copy the uh, other contents and all. For this, these are the important uh, punishments that, which they face. Okay, copyright infringement as a cognizable offense. A police officer can confiscate the infri infringed copyright material without issuing a warrant and produce the same in the court of law. Okay, fair use doctrine as per the rule of law, they mentioned the fair use doctrine here, how it is executed. Okay, uh, which compa this fair use doctrine comprises the four part test. Okay, uh, in parts they are mentioned it here. First, the character of the use. Then we have the nature of the work. Impact of use on the value of copyrighted material, amount of portion to be used. Okay, these are the four part test for a fair use doctrine. They mentioned it here. The detailed info information on the examples of the fair use doctrine can be accessed from the official website here. If you want to ex uh, have the detailed information of the uh, copyright, they mentioned it here in the website here. You can know this, know, go through this website, and if you are interested, you can check for the detailed information of the fair use doctrine. A few examples are listed below. Quotation of mention, quotation mentioned in the copyrighted work. Reporting of current events in the media such as newspapers, magazines, or radio televisions. Reproduction of the work by teachers or scientific researchers. Use of any work prepared by the secretary of a legislature. Okay, yeah. So this was all about the copyrights. Now let us discuss about copyrights and internet. Okay. The 21st century, that is the, the, the century which in which we are living, is an era of digitization. As I have told you, the, the internet is the main source where these copyrights are executed. That is, in the modern days, if you take an example of YouTube only, mostly in the YouTube, the, the copyrights are executed. Okay, If you take an example of YouTube, you could be seeing that for a particular video and a user would be impressed with that video and they would, they would be cutting that clip of cutting that clip from that video and it, he would be showing it in the in form of a short where short reel where he would be putting that in a reel and he would be getting famous okay but the complete uh, uh, credit should be go, going to the person who has created that content but who is uh, getting the use of that content the one who has clipped uh, clipped that or cut that video and put it in the reel okay so, so like this, the internet and copyright are interrelated to each other. So, how you could be applying for those kind of copyrights like that? I mentioned it here with some of the points here. Okay, you can note it down. Copyright work, non-copyright work, the complete history and origin. They have mentioned it here. Okay, the works 
not under the jurisdiction of copyrights are as follows. Okay, that is the ideas, concepts, and principles themselves cannot be protected under copyright. Facts such as scientific or historical discoveries are not copyright protected. Copyright does not protect titles, names, slogans, short phrases, short word combinations, methods, or factual information. Certificates are not considered as copyrightable subject matter as there is a no much scope for that. Digitally created works and copyrighted works transformed to a digital format and placed on the internet are copyright protected and some of the other parts. Okay, these are some of the copyright works. Copyright registration. Okay. It is not necessary to register a work to claim copyright once a work is created via any medium. The work receives automatic copyright safety. Okay. For some cases, if your work is sensitive and uh, uh, in YouTube and all, some of things will be getting the automatic copyright safety where you, if the YouTube feels that the content is, uh, this is an exclusive content and it is copied by others, then automatically he would be getting the cop copyright strike. Okay. So that's called as automatic copyright safety for any user. Okay. In other words, there is no formal request to be submitted to the office of the copyright for acquiring any copyright. Okay. Automatically, they would be getting the safety for your any content which you need to publish for that automatic copyright safety to be executed and uh, in in case if your content is being copied the who is copying right that who is copying that content right for them automatically the copyright strike would be placing okay yeah copyright registration does not confer any rights it is merely a prima facie proof of an entry in respect to the work in the copyright register maintained by the register of the copyrights the certification of a registration serves as prima facie evidence in the court of cases of disputes relating to ownership or creation of copyright, financial matters, transfer of rights, etc. It is advisable that the author of the work registers for copyright for better legal protection in India, the copyrights matters, including copyrights registration and an administrator under, administered under the Copyright Act 1957 and the Copyrights Rule in the 2013. Okay. So like this, the complete copyright registration part is mentioned it here. You can uh, go through it. And these are some of the judicial powers of the registra uh, registrar of copyrights. They mentioned it here. Okay, this is the complete procedure for applying for a copyright here for different instances. They mentioned it here. We neatly you can uh, flow chart of the process of copyright registration. Okay, so the complete flow chart. So this would be they, this they would be asking for the exam as well. Where first is the filing of application along with fee, issue of dairy number, thirty days mandatory waiting for objections. Now, after objection files, if the objection is filed, so this is the process here. If the objection is not filed, this is the process here. Okay. Like this, they are mentioned it and they are interrelated to each other. You can go through it. Okay. Fee structure for any copyright uh, infringement application. This is the complete fee structures with some of the particulars they have mentioned it here. And what are the amount faced for that particulars they have given it here. You can go through it. Copyright symbol. So this is the copyright symbol basically a C and a circle. Okay, so this is the copyright symbol. That is a C and a circle. Okay, so this is the basic copyright symbol, the letter C in a circle or the word. In case of compilations or derivative works incorporating previously published material, the year with the date of the first publication of the compilation or derivative work should be mentioned. Okay, the validity part, copyright profile of India. The graph of copyrights in India, okay, they have mentioned it here. Copyright and the word publish, neatly they have given it here. Joint authorship, copyright society, and many more are there here. You can go through it, okay. Again, these are some of the councils and uh, uh, treaties they have mentioned it here, which are not so important. The Still now, whatever I have told, right, the, those things are very important. If you want some of the additional information, some 9 to 10 pages are there. You can uh, access it from the description. I will be giving you this PDF. Go through it and read it. Completely read this PDF and try to analyze it and try to understand the points. Okay, don't try to mug up. Please try to understand this by reading it and try to write it in your own words in the exam. Okay, in a neat man. We are scoring marks easily. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this video. I have discussed some of the important points from module 4. And uh, in the next video, let us uh, discuss with module 5 also as well. Okay, so like this video. Share this channel to a huge number. Subscribe to our channel guys. Thank you.